Hey folks, Roller Martin here. Hey, another YouTube adventure. Hey, we're in northern Alabama, one of my favorite lakes, Smith Lake, Lewis Smith Lake. Hey, and my good friend, Barry, Barry Maynard from Decatur. Hey, we, we were on the Tennessee River this last year. We fishing out of Alabama, fishing out of a Wheeler Lake. Hey, Barry, what you doing, son? Hey, Roland, how you doing? Hey, good. good well, listen, we're, we're here at Smith Lake. This is one of your favorite places. And you've been talking about all the big spots here. They, they're catching a lot of spots right now. What, uh, how, are you going to, how are we going to catch them? Well, we're going to do everything I like to do, and maybe one of them will be the right thing. Okay. We'll, we, we'll fish topwater bait some. We're going to fish shaky. Shaky head is the bread and butter here at Smith Lake. Uh, now, some of the guys are live scoping because it's deep and clear and the fish are off, but I don't, I don't know how much of that we'll do since I, I'm not really that good at that. Well, you know, we watched the television last night. There was a tournament yesterday. Yesterday, ABT was here yesterday. And we had, there were two strings over 20, a couple 18-pound strings, 17-pound yep. strings. They're really catching them. They're catching them. There's a lot, they, you know, they were during the way, and there were a lot of three-pound spots caught. But, well, that's that's the deal. You know, folks, I'm, I'm from Florida, and we, and we don't have the spotted bass down where I'm from. And so it's a special treat. A three pound spot's a good spot. It's a good spot. So a four pound is particularly good. And I know with the last time we were together, I caught one over four. You did. Remember that? You, you caught a big five something smallmouth. We caught some beautiful bass. But anyway, today we're on Smith Lake and we're gonna try to, uh, a combination of things. And w you know, one thing about Smith, Roland, whether we catch a fish or not, it's, it's the pretty, oh, it's beautiful, the prettiest lake look at this, in the state. It is, it's, all, mean, it's all wooded. It's just, it's just a wilderness lake. We're in a yeah. really, we're right at the dam. Well, by the way, right at the dam. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, folks. Hey, don't go away. Big spot of bass coming up. Now I'm gonna get all set up for a run. Kind of cool. It's the middle of March. Water temperature. So, what's the water temperature, Barry? Fifty-nine degrees. Fifty-nine. So it's it's pretty warm. You know, it's it's actually warmer than normal, right? It's, Swim bait, wake bait. Oh, 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 oh there he is. Son. I got a good oh, one. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a good one. Big largemouth, I think. Right on the dock. Yes, sir, son. Yeah, nice largemouth. <laughs> we got a good one now, son. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good old bass. Look at that big old largemouth. Holy moly. I want to try something. I want to try if I can get him in. Uh, yeah, be careful. That thing's got lots of hooks in it. Yes, yeah, so lots of hooks. Now look at this, folks. Big old three or four pound largemouth. Well, that's a nice one. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Came okay. right up in that dock, didn't you, Roll? Yeah. There's some pliers right there. I'm right, gonna show that. Right there. See them right show there? Show to the camera. Huh? They're right behind There's pliers right there. Oh, yeah. He made an awful. I don't know how to get this thing yeah, open. Me, and they're they got rusted. Okay. That big old large man. He was right. On, he was right on the dock, wasn't he? He was right on the edge of the dock. Nice, beautiful large man. Son. That's a good one. That's a good one. Smith Lake Special, and we're way back in the creek, and what we noticed was the water temperature has come up from the outside, it was 58 degrees. Now it's over 62 degrees. 62.2. 62.2, and we were way back in the dingier water, much shallower and wider here. But anyway, that's a good one. 
That's a good what, one. What do you think, four? It's about four pounds, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. If you noticed yesterday, Roland, while we were watching the weigh-in, yeah. you know, there's a lot of largemouth weighed in yesterday. Yeah, there were. I'm going to let this one go. Wow, that's a good one, son. And we were throwing this wake bait. Now, tell me about this wake bait, Barry. What, what kind of deal is it? It's, it's a Berkeley. I'm not sure the name of it. But it, but it's, uh, you know, it's got, it's got broken back, old broken back. Uh huh. It's jointed. Yeah. And a friend of mine gave it, gave me one. And I don't know how many fish I caught on it last year. I mean, they'll, they'll just kill it. Wake bait. He was schooling right there. He hit it. Hmm. Yeah, he got it. He's got it, son. Another one. Another nice largemouth. Look at that. Another good largemouth, huh? Another Out there on the, they were schooling. Look at that. Big one. Big old largemouth. That's a big one. Holy, holy, holy. Look at this guy. That's, a, that's another good one, Roll. Huh? That's a good fish. Huh? That's a, that's a good one. That's another big one. I'm going to have to get, get hold, get the camera on him and land him down here. Oh. A good keeper. Yeah. Three and a half oh, yeah, pounder. That's a three. Huh? Three, three and a half. Two, three, three and a half pound. That's a good one. At wake bait. I've never really thrown a wake bait much. It's like a brand new deal. Here I've been fishing all you know for 50, 60 years, and it's almost a new lure for me. <laughs> Just about. But look at the quality of that fish. Now here we are back in this creek. It's known for its great spotted bass fishing. And there's great big largemouth back here. Isn't that something? Well, you had one hit it. I had another one hit it out there. Well, we saw a minnow jump. Yeah. I got my hearing aids in. I got them cranked up high. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear stuff. <laughs> it might have been the same fish. I don't know what it was. Might be a whole bunch of them out here. Yeah, it could be. Out in the middle like that, you'd think that they're probably out here after a minute. Five, five 5.7 feet. Man, that's a good one. That's a good one. Man, Barry's got a big one on. Barry's got a big one on, son. Let me help you. Man, he's got a giant. He's got a big one on. He's got a big one on. Oh, look at that guy. He's about seven pounds, eight pounds. Oh, my heavens. He's really big. He's really big. Oh, look at this guy. Now oh, we're cool. talking. Look at this guy. Oh, that's a good one. He's over five. Look at that guy. Hey, we're talking about some big fish, son. Look, look at that guy. Oh, it didn't fall out. Huh? Look at that. That's over five pounds. Yeah, that's, yeah he's over five. Oh, yeah. We've had we've had a four a four something and a and a and a three and a half and a well, and a five and, and all all back in this back end. What do you need? A pair of pliers? Oh yeah. That's a fantastic fish, by the way. That's really a beauty. Now, I want you to hold him and let me take your picture. Okay. Yeah, the camera's right here. I, well, I've got my camera yeah, okay. right here. I'm, I'm just trying to hold it, hold it so, they, they, hold so it. they can see the camera. Yeah. Okay. Can you get him right there? Yeah. Now he ate it. He ate it good. Look at that thing. Okay. Thank you. What a beautiful bass. Oh, son. How much? How much does that weigh? Oh, he weighs over five pounds. He's over five pounds. That's a gorgeous fish. We're gonna take a picture of it. Yeah, don't you, yeah. Okay. you stand right here and let me take. Your okay. Picture. That's a gorgeous looking fish. Woo, son. Is it close to six pounds? That's a good one. That's a good one. My heavens. We'll turn him loose. Yes, sir. Woo. It's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, he ate it. Heavens. He ate it. Good time. Good, right, right. What you got, son? Another big one. Another big one. Another big one. Oh yeah, yeah. Get him up front. Here you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good, good fish. Oh son. What you got, huh? Oh yeah, another, another big old bass. Another big old bass. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, he's barely
Four pounder, right? Yeah, close to four. That gives us 20 pounds. Huh? Yeah. We got a 20 oh, pound stringer. Uh, that's a 20. That's our 20 pound stringer right there. Right there. Right there. 20 pound stringer. Large mouth. That's our fifth large mouth. Oh God, that's a nice one. Woo! Good, good four pounder, huh? We'd have been hard to beat. I'm telling you, we'd have been hard to beat. That's a good one, son. <sighs> What were you doing, Ron? Uh, okay, Barry, explain to the camera what, what you did and how you caught that fish. Okay. Okay, this is a, it's a glide bait. Yeah. And it's got, but it's, it's plastic. Okay. Okay. So it, you don't, you can't let it, you can't let it sink. So, Wait, the way you fish it is kind of, you kind of wake it, you know, right right underneath the surface, and it looks just like when these, it looks like when these blueback herring, you can see, just a slow retrieve, okay, and then it'll, but it'll come right back, it'll come up the surface. It's supposed to be a slow sink, and it's a real slow sink. So once you reel it, it comes up. And they seem to like it. Make a cast and show them, show them how you work it. What I was doing, I just let it sink just for just for a second. Then reel it real. As soon as you, as soon as you start reeling, you come see it comes right back to the surface. Then you just kind of reel it real slow right on the surface. But that's like four big ones that's hit it. Yeah, I missed two. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I got him. <laughs> Is it GoPro on? Is it GoPro on? GoPro start. Yes, it's recording. What you got, Roland? Got another big one, son. Another good one. That's another four pounder. Holy oh, day. That's another good one. Let's see. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, I know that's three and a half. Yeah, he's that probably not four pounds, but he's he's a good one anyway. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get that. Pull him down. It's almost a foot deep. <laughs> foot deep. It's about a foot of water. Now, that's, that thing, that's the second one I've caught on this big plug. Yeah. And uh, it's a big. That's not only about three. Yeah, uh, he's about three. Yeah. Yeah, but he's but he, but it's a nice one. It's still it's a good we one. still got over twenty pounds. Yeah. Even even with that, it's not quite as big. But anyway, what this plug is, it's a plug I got yesterday at the at the <laughs> at the Redcrest show. These guys from California, from uh, out in. Uh, Actually, Clear Lake, and I don't know the name of this plug. I'm going to have to find out. I might have it in my, in my wallet. I'm going to uh, call it Roland. <laughs> well, the Roland plug. I'll, I'll have to figure out later, and I'll, I'll find it. I'll, 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 I'll put it on the end of the video somehow. But anyway, it's a, it's a, there's a, there's a MMA fighter that's by the name of Clay Gouda. Clay Gouda is quite a fisherman, and he's fished with my son Scott, by the way. And he, uh, he has a place down here in Cape Coral in Florida, and he lives in California. And Clay's an MMA fighter, and he's, he's, he's won championships and everything else. But anyway, he's kind of part of this company, too. Okay. And so it's, it's, it's I mean, not that's a that he owns a company, but, but it's it, a big glide, what they call a glide bait. And the way you're supposed to fish, at least the guy yesterday yeah. told me, he said, you make your cast, and you just kind of just... Kind of reel it kind of funny. Just kind of slow. Well, he he said he just reels it with a. See how it's just kind of working on the water. I don't know. It's just kind of gliding gliding along. It, it it glides back and forth. It just swims back and forth in a in a arc like that. Now when we came up here, that big old fish that just bit hit right where we yeah, just right saw there. it bite yeah. right there. We came here ten minutes later. 
Got two in that same spot. Barely hit. We'll do a better close. Well, Barry, the sun's come out. Kind of changed the game. It has, and we haven't had a bite since kinda, the sun came out. It looks like it slowed everything down. Yeah. But boy, I tell you what, folks, we've caught some beautiful bass today. I just want to want to. I found the card for this glide bait, and what this glide bait is, I'm going to show the camera real quick what it is. This this glide bait's about an eight inch thing. I got it yesterday at the at the Red Crest Red Crest Tackle Show or the Red Crest Tournament, and this is the G Rat Bait Company. Look at this card right here, G Rat Baits, and that's what it is. And this guy Garrett Dixon gave me the gave me the bait. And we've caught, what, four or five on it today. And had some four and five pounders. And I think you probably caught the biggest, what, a five? About five and a half. Five so. and a half. And he caught yours on a, on a different kind of glide I bait. Did. What, it's a, you had. It's, you, a, it's a Berkeley. But it's a Berkeley, yeah. okay. But anyway, the neat thing about today, uh, Barry, is that we were in a spot we've never been before. That's true. We were expecting to catch spotted bass. We promised them spots. <laughs> and actually. <laughs> that didn't happen. You fish this lake all the time. This is probably the biggest day that you've had. It is. It's a 20-something pound. A 20-pound bag on Smith is hard to come by. In fact, yesterday there was a big tournament. That it, what won it was a little over 20 pounds, and we've actually beat that yeah. today. Well, there so. was 221 boats, Yeah. and it was two bags over 20 pounds. Yeah, so that's it. So, so, so to we catch really 20 pounds time. is really, really a big deal. So every lake's different, and the Smith Lake, it, it's not known for, for the big largemouth. But so we, we kind of did, did pretty well. We did really well. <laughs> Thanks again, folks, for watching, and uh, I tell you, if you can, hit that likes button. My, my O'Reilly folks, my Bass Pro Shop folks, of course, the uh, frog togs are a big deal. And un unfortunately, so is my favorite rod and reel company. I didn't have my favorite rod and reel because I was using all berry stuff. You just had to use my stuff. <laughs> That's really great. Hey, and thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon.